So, hey, it's Tony talking car biz. In this video, I want to discuss the three introduction types that you want to have in your toolbox when using video to follow up with your customers. Let's get started. Okay, so video type number one that you want to have in your toolbox when using video to follow up with your customers is the default generic introduction. What is a default generic introduction? First off, when using the AutoZone video app within the user profile, you can go ahead and record a generic default introduction and load it to the app so that each and every time you go to send out a video, you have this particular introduction in the can. You don't need to record it over and over again. So it makes it very easy for you to include an introduction with every VLR you send. So within the generic default, there's a couple of elements that we're going to discuss. The first thing we want to do is think about generic. Generic meaning we're not going to use the customer's name. We're not going to address the customer directly. We're also not going to reference a specific vehicle or model or make. And then we're going to make sure we leave out any time phrases or time elements today, yesterday, later this afternoon. So generic meaning no customer name, no specific vehicle reference, and no time reference so that we can use it any time of the day. And within the introduction, there's four different elements I like to focus on. The first element we're going to talk about is the thank you element. And that comes very early in the video. And that sounds something like this. Hey, it's Tony here at ABC Motors. I wanted to thank you for your interest in our vehicles, generic. Following my introduction, and this is the second element, we want to reference the walk around video to let them know they're going to want to watch that video. Following my introduction, there's a quick walk around vi video of the vehicle. Go ahead and watch that. And then the third element is the next step what we're expecting from the customer or what the customer can expect from us. So the next step sounds something like this. Go ahead and watch the video. Then if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, give me a call. Otherwise, I'll reach out to you later to discuss the next step. Thanks much. Let's talk soon. So very generic. I'll reach out to you later. Not I'll reach out to you tomorrow or later today or next week. I'll reach out to you later. But the advantage to the next step is the customer clearly knows what's either expected of them or what they can expect from us. So in its entirety, the generic default video sounds something like this. Hey, it's Tony here at ABC Motors. Thank you for your interest in our vehicles. We've got a great selection, including the one you're interested in. Following my introduction, I included a quick walk around vi video. Go ahead and watch that. Then if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please give me a call. Otherwise, I'll reach out to you later to discuss the next steps. Thanks much. I'll talk to you soon. Very simple, very concise, about 30 seconds. You can put in your own words and phrases, whatever you're comfortable with, but really want to focus on three things. Thank them, recommend they watch the video, and set up the next steps. Now, every single time you're going to send out a VLR within the app, you're going to be able to choose that and use it each and every time. In the next segment, we're going to talk about the generic model specific video. And then finally, the full custom introduction and the value of doing that. Okay, in the second type of video we're looking at, this is going to be a generic model specific video. And generic meaning it's again, once again, we're not addressing the customer and we're not using a time element, but the difference is, is model specific. 
So what I recommend there is you do an introduction, a generic introduction for each and every new car model you have at your dealership. So if you're a Nissan dealer, you're going to do an Altima, you'll do a Sentra, you'll do a Maxima, and each one's about 30 seconds with the same script. But when you reference the vehicle, you reference the model. In addition to that, you want to record this model specific video while standing in front of the model you're talking about. So if the customer's interested in a Sentra, I'm going to stand in front of a Sentra, have somebody hold the camera, and my word track or my introduction is going to be this. Number one, I'm going to thank them. Hey, I wanted to thank you for your interest in our Nissan Sentra. We've got a great selection of Sentras, including the one you're interested in. Following my introduction, there's a quick video of the Sentra. Go ahead and watch that. Then if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please give me a call. Otherwise, I'll reach out to you later today to discuss the next steps. Thanks much. I'll talk to you soon. So notice I said today, er, don't want to do that. I'll reach out to you later to discuss the next steps. So we're trying to avoid specific names, but we are talking about make and model, and we don't want to have a time element in there. Hey, it's Tony at XYZ Nissan. Thanks for your interest in our Nissan Sentras. Boy, we've got a great selection of Sentras, including the one you're interested in. Following my introduction, I included a quick Sentra video. Go ahead and watch that. Then if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, give me a call. Otherwise, I'll reach out to you later today to discuss the next steps. Thanks much. Let's talk soon. Now, you're going to do that for every model, so that could take some time but then save those individual model specific videos to your camera roll. And the next time you have a Sentra customer, instead of using the generic default, you can go ahead and choose generic Sentra. And you're going to have this extra level of customization, personalization, ready to go in the can each and every time. The purpose of video is to re-engage and reconnect the, reconnect the customer with yourself and with the vehicle. And so the more customization you can add to it and still simplify your process, the better the results. So in the next video, we're going to talk about the full custom selfie introduction. Thanks for watching.